All right, guys. Let's clean up some mess, I guess. Anybody need lug nuts? Our first gen dog. The stock lug nuts. Alright, I'm gonna put you guys on the time lapse. I think it even got, do not think it recorded, but if it did, whatever. So, <clears throat> basically all these boxes, all this junk right here is Goodwill, um, which was mostly over there. This is all trash so far. And what we got, uh, show you here. So I'm going to have to, this tar paper is underneath the shelving unit, because the shelving unit folded over, those are its legs. Now I didn't have these attached, I just threw them up and then just started throwing crap on them, which I shouldn't have done. Um, so yeah, so I can't move this tar paper and I'm afraid to move this box. Um, I have a Subaru block right there. I'm just going to scrap it. 
an Acura oil pan, scrap it. I don't even care. I'm, I'm so over having all this stuff. Um, I am keeping a lot of stupid little uh, bearings and fuse panels. There's some uh, Subaru 02, 03, 04, whatever Subaru uh, fuse blocks. Go under the hood. Um, because of my Subaru I had, I had to do all kinds of rewiring. Um, yeah, so this oil pan is underneath that we're at, uh, that shelving unit. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do, um, I don't even want to think about it. But what I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to call it good. I'm going to, I think, load crap in the tractor. As far as uh, um, some stuff, basically the steel that's next to my house, I'm going to load all that and then I'm going to bring it over here. As you can see I got, some of this stuff is trash, it's like seat, stupid air box, plastic crap, these windows I need to throw in a dumpster, um, that right over there, scrap steel. That's trash, scrap steel. So I'm gonna bring the tractor over there, load up a bunch of steel, bring it over there because my plan is, since nobody wants these, these uh, parts for this stupid 91 Chevy, they all do, but <clears throat> I keep posting them on Craigslist and offer up. You know, fenders are good, hood's good, Basically, the whole front clip is good, and uh, nobody wants it, basically, so I'm going to take this bed off, put it on the trailer, and then load up all scrap metal in the bed, take it to the scrap yard, and uh, sorry for all the tripod noise. I do need this, though. This is for the uh, Project Crack Pipe. Um... But yeah, so nobody wants the truck parts, and uh, I pretty much don't care at this point. I want to clean up. Um, after they do my septic, I don't know where they're going to do it. The guy's talking about 80-something feet coming out, but then he was talking about coming out this way because he thinks my original leech line from there goes this way, or actually goes that way. And he said he'll have to dig in here to see where it goes, and if it goes this way, then he's going to come this way. If it goes this way he's gonna come this way so I don't really know I don't really care how he does it I just want it done I'm sick of uh, dealing with it when I get home so um live power ah, that's all right I'm, I'm electro man um but anyway I'm gonna take I'm gonna get the tractor Load some scrap crap, and then I'm gonna take all these spray paint cans, bottles, whatever, all this stuff, all this oil and stuff. I'm gonna take all the liquid stuff, and I'm gonna put them in these containers and uh, organize all that. So that way, all that crap's cleaned up. Speaker box I'll probably ship to Goodwill because I don't need it. Um, the speaker was blown. We got it from my nephew. He said it was blown. Uh, the kid used it in his truck. It worked for a little bit and then blew. Um, I don't know what happened, but whatever. And then that'll clean up all that. And then this way I can park the tractor in here. I can park the truck in right in here. So I'll go ahead and uh, start doing that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do first, whether the tractor crap or whatever. So, anyway, that's what I'm gonna do at the beach. So, let's see. Sorry, this, this video is gonna be boring, just like the rest of my videos. You either stick in or you don't.
Alright guys, got those things pretty much topped off full. So, um, yeah, I still have a big mess to clean up. Hoses. Um, that's all extra EGR crap. It's all my exhaust stock stuff for my truck. Some of the kids' parts. Rotors for Audi, I think. Brake pads. Brake pads for sure. And, uh, maybe the rotors for the truck. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so, <clears throat> pretty much, uh, and then this is all the, uh, engine, chassis, harness, some extra parts for that, uh, 6.7 Cummins motor in there. Um, I need to just empty these shelves, throw everything on the ground, and, uh, start over from scratch. Maybe, uh, buy a shelving unit. What my real plan is, was, uh, was to buy a shipping container. Put the shipping container over there. Make some shelves inside of it or buy some shelves, some like pre-made shelves and then uh, put a lot of the car parts in there obviously put all those boxes that are back there, that's all crap that we probably just need to throw away or sell um, put all that in the back because we never touch any of that stuff, that's stuff that we're not touching um, that armoire can go in the back of the shipping container. That armoire can go in the back of the shipping container. But, now i got to do a septic tank. So, either way. Alright guys, I couldn't leave that as an out outro. But you can see. Got my truck. Fort Jim Mega Cab in here. I also have my little tractor in here. My little Yanmar. 155D, four-wheel drive, twin turbo, picks up houses, maybe the houses of ants. Anyway, so I got this, uh, took the shelves down, uh, after I put the camera away, I was out here for a little while and started putting junk away. So, I still have all these little parts to pick up, um... Most of that stuff is what I'm keeping, obviously. All this is what I'm keeping. This right here is a bunch of old Subaru motor parts. This I'm going to put up on offer up. There's a K&N air filter in here. For Subaru, got a Subaru cover, timing cover, timing accessories, valve covers, pistons, rods, some timing gears, and then here's a motor. Um, the motor's... It's all, that piston's all gone. Um, I think that's, uh, number, I don't remember. So this is the back of the motor, that's the front. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, I don't know. I don't remember how they do them. But anyway, the piston's gone. Uh, the motor seized. Uh... Yeah, and then these are all, in this box is all my 4th gen junk, uh, besides uh, these brake pads. These brake pads are for the 4th gen too. By the way, I took those shelving units down, uh, well, they basically just fell down, and then I uh, stuck my foot on a nail, and I said to myself, make sure to knock all the nails down so nobody steps in them, or steps on them. Um, because I didn't know where I was going to put it. And sure enough, right after I just thought that, um, I go and step right on a nail. Um, I was wearing sunglasses and my sombrero. Um, anyway, just wanted to go show you guys. Shelves down, all this crap's down. Able to get the, the fourth gen and the tractor in here. Pretty cool that it fits. I didn't think they would fit. <laughs> a little baby tractor. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Um, I was in there editing videos, and then I was like, um, oh yeah, maybe I should go out there and do a little outro. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below. 
as usual, I'm open to comments. I answer everybody's comments. I read everybody's comments. It might take me a couple days, um, especially when I'm working. Uh, where I'm working, there's no signal. Barely. I barely have reception to call my wife, text her, or whatever. Um, but anyway, that's it. So that's all down. I like it. Looks better. Now I just gotta get rid of more crap. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Later.